Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today, hope you're all doing well. This is the Old Testament in 88 days, we're on day 21. Today we'll be reading Deuteronomy 7 through 15. 7 through 15, so let's go ahead and get started. Deuteronomy 7, verse 1. When Yahweh, thy Elohim, shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Pezrites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when thy Yahweh, thy Elohim, shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them, and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. But thus shall ye deal with them, ye shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groves, and burn their graven images with fire. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy Elohim. Yahweh thy Elohim hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Yahweh did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all the people. But because Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath Yahweh brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Now therefore, that Yahweh, thy Elohim, he is Elohim, the faithful Elohim, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repayeth them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hateth him, he will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments, and the statutes, and the judgments, which I command thee this day to do them. Wherefore it shall come to pass, if you hearken to these judgments, and keep them, and do them, that Yahweh, that Elohim, shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he sware unto thy fathers. And he will love thee, and bless thee, and multiply thee, and he will also bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land, thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil, the increase of thine kin, of the flocks of thy sheep, and the land which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people, there shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your cattle. And Yahweh will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. And thou shalt consume all the people which Yahweh thy Elohim shall deliver thee. Thine eyes shall have no pity upon them, neither shalt thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. If thou shalt say in thine heart, These nations are more than I, how can I dis dispossess them? Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but thou shalt well remember what Yahweh the Elohim did unto Pharaoh and unto all Egypt. The great temptations which thine eyes saw, and the signs, and the wonders, and the mighty hand, and the stretched out arm, whereby Yahweh the Elohim brought thee out, so shall Yahweh the Elohim do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. Moreover, Yahweh the Elohim will send the hornet among them, until they that are left, and hide themselves from thee, be destroyed. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for Yahweh the Elohim is among you a mighty Elohim, and terrible. And Yahweh, thy Elohim, will put out those nations before thee by little and little. Thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beasts of the field increase upon thee. But Yahweh, thy Elohim, shall deliver them unto thee, and shall destroy them with a mighty destruction, until they be destroyed. And he shall deliver their kings into thine hand, and thou shalt destroy their name from under heaven, there shall no man be able to stand before thee until thou, thou have destroyed them. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. I shall not desire the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee. 
lest thou be snared therein, for it is abomination to Yahweh thy Elohim. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. Wow, you know, reading this this chapter, just all these things that um, the people of Israel should not do, and they do every single thing, they counter every single verse in this chapter. It's kind of sad. But literally everything they do by the end of it, before they're taken off to Babylon and after Babylon too, uh, they literally do everything. They give their sons and daughters to the enemy. They they have mercy on the enemy. They uh, mingle with the enemy. They live with the en enemy. And they worship the enemy's gods and the little g gods. And then, uh, you know, do all these abominations before Yahweh. So it's kind of sad that reading this, this is like what, what you should do. But we know, if you read the Bible before, you, we know that... Um, they do every single thing plus more against all that. So, oh, Deuteronomy 8. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall you observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which Yahweh, that Elohim, led these, thee these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee and to prove thee, to know what is in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee. Know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh doth man live. Wow. I don't think I've ever connected the dots before, but this verse here in Deuteronomy 8.3. Wow. Thinking back, um, our, our last reading plan, reading through the New Testament, this is exactly what Christ says, and I don't, I'm just not realizing he was quoting scripture too. Uh, obviously, it's a worded a tiny bit different, but yeah. So man will know not to live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh doth man live. It's very similar. I mean, Jesus Christ said this um, in the New Testament. And um, that's just, that's really cool to kind of put those pieces together. So he's he's quoting from the Old Testament, but also he's putting his own uh, spin on it, so to speak. So Deuteronomy 8.3. I bet you if this was a, uh, if you guys have a reference Bible, you know how they put the in the notes like what verses I bet you this will have a link or a link not a link but a a note here saying which verse in the New Testament or Old Testament that this verse is linked to so I don't know the exact um, verse off the top of my head but yeah I know that Jesus Christ says this is part of this verse very similar so that's just pretty cool seeing this in the Old Testament after reading it in the New. But Deuteronomy 8, 4. Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that, as a man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh thy Elohim chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy Elohim to walk in his ways and to fear him. For Yahweh, thy Elohim, bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey. Ah, that sounds awesome. I love all the all these things. <laughs> Everything on here. A land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou sh shalt bless Yahweh the Elohim for the good land which he hath given thee. Beware that thou forget not Yahweh the Elohim in not keeping his commandments, and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day, lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, 
and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and forget Yahweh thy Elohim, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of a rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou say in thine heart, My power and my might of mine, mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember Yahweh the Elohim, for he it is, he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he sware unto thy fathers, as it is this day. It shall be, if thou do all, do it all forget Yahweh the Elohim, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which Yahweh destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of Yahweh your Elohim. Deuteronomy 9 Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven, a people great and tall, the children of the, the Anakims, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that Yahweh, thy Elohim, is he which goeth over before thee, as a consuming fire he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shalt thou drive them out, and destroy them quickly, as Yahweh hath said unto thee. Speak not thou in thine heart after that Yahweh thy Elohim hath cast them out from before thee, saying, For my righteousness Yahweh hath brought me in to possess this land, but for the wickedness of these nations Yahweh doth drive them out from before thee. Not for thy righteousness, or for the uprightness of thine heart, dost thou go to possess their land. But for the wickedness of these nations, Yahweh, thy Elohim, doth drive them out from before thee. And that he may perform the word which Yahweh sware unto thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Understand therefore that Yahweh, thy Elohim, giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness. For thou art a stiff-necked people. Remember and forget not how thou provokest Yahweh thy Elohim to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt, until ye came unto this place. Ye have been rebellious against Yahweh. Also in Horeb ye provoked Yahweh to wrath, so that Yahweh was angry with you to have destroy you. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which Yahweh made with you, then I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights, I neither did eat bread nor drink water. And Yahweh delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of Elohim, and on them was written according to all the words which Yahweh spake with you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days and forty nights that Yahweh gave me the two tables of stone, even the tables of the new covenant, or the, the covenant. Yahweh said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence, for thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, Yahweh spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against Yahweh, your Elohim, and had made you a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which Yahweh had commanded you. And I took the two tables and cast them out of my two hands and brake them before your eyes. And I fell down before Yahweh as at the first forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins which ye sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure wherewith Yahweh was wroth against you to destroy you. 
But Yahweh hearkened unto me at that time also. And Yahweh was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which he had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount, and at Taberah, and at Massa, and at Kebroth Hatava, you provoked Yahweh to wrath. Likewise, when Yahweh sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh your Elohim, and you believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. You have been rebellious against Yahweh from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before Yahweh forty days and forty nights as I fell down at the first, because Yahweh had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore unto Yahweh and said, O Lord Elohim, destroy not the people in thine inheritance which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin, lest the land whence thou broughtest us out say, Because Yahweh was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people, and thine inheritance which thou broughtest out by thy mighty power, and by thy stretched out arm. Deuteronomy 10 In that time Yahweh said unto me, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and went up into the mount, having the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables according to the first writing, the ten commandments which Yahweh spake unto you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And Yahweh gave them unto me. And I turned myself and came down from the mount, and put the tables in the ark which I had made. And there they be, as Yahweh commanded me. And the children of Israel took their journey from Beroth of the children of Jachan and at Morsura, to Morsura. There Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they journeyed unto Gudagoda, and from Gudgoda to Jothba, a land of rivers of waters. At that time Yahweh separated the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh to stand before Yahweh to minister unto him and to bless in his name unto this day. Wherefore Levi hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren. Yahweh is his inheritance according as Yahweh thy Elohim promised him. And I stayed in the mount according to the first time forty days and forty nights. And Yahweh hearkened unto me at that time also, and Yahweh would not destroy thee. And Yahweh said unto me, Arise, take thy journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give unto them. And now, Israel, what doth Yahweh thy Elohim require thee? But to fear Yahweh thy Elohim, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh thy Elohim with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the earth and the heaven of heavens is Yahweh that Elohim, the earth also with all that therein is. Only Yahweh had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all the people, as it is this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For Yahweh your Elohim is Elohim of, Elohim, of gods. And Lord of lords, a great Elohim, a mighty and terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward, he doth execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow, and loveth the stranger in giving him food and raiment. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear Yahweh the Elohim, him shalt thou serve, and to him shalt thou cleave, and swear by his name. He is thy praise, and he is thy Elohim that hath done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. Thy fathers went down into Egypt with three score and ten persons, and now Yahweh, thy Elohim, hath made thee as the stars of heaven for multitude.
Deuteronomy 11. Therefore thou shalt love Yahweh thy Elohim, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments alway. And know ye this day, for I speak not with your children which have not known, and which have not seen the chastisement of Yahweh your Elohim, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm, and his miracles, and his acts which he did in the midst of Egypt unto Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and unto all this land. And what he did unto the army of Egypt, and to their horses, and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how Yahweh had destroyed them unto this day. And what he did unto you in the wilderness until he came into this place, and what he did unto Dathban, Dathan and Abraham, the sons of Eliab, the sons of Reuben, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up in their households and their tents and all their substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of Yahweh which he did. Therefore shall ye keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that ye may be strong and go in and possess the land whither ye go to possess it, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which Yahweh swear unto your fathers to give unto them, and to their seed a land that floweth with milk and honey. For the land whither thou goest to possess it is not as the land of Egypt from whence ye came out, where thou sowest thy seed and waterest it with thy foot as a garden of herbs. But the land whither ye go to possess it is a land of hills and valleys, and drinketh water of the rain of heaven, a land which Yahweh thy Elohim careth for. The eyes of Yahweh thy Elohim are always upon it from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. And it shall come to pass, if ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day, to love Yahweh your Elohim, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul that I will give you the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for cattle, that thou mayest eat and be full. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And then Yahweh's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and lest ye perish quickly from off the good land which Yahweh giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied in the days of your children in the land which Yahweh swear unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven upon the earth. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you, to do them to love Yahweh your Elohim, to walk in all his ways and to cleave unto him, then will Yahweh drive out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness at Le in Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the uttermost sea shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for Yahweh your Elohim shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon, as he hath said unto you. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, a blessing if ye obey the commandments of Yahweh, your Elohim, which I command you this day, and a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of Yahweh, your Elohim, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. And it shall come to pass when Yahweh, thy Elohim, hath brought thee in unto the land whither thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gezerim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side Jordan, by the way, where the sun goeth down, in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the Champ uh, Champaign, over against Gilgil, beside the plains of Moreh? For ye shall pass over Jordan to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your Elohim giveth you, and ye shall possess it and dwell therein. And ye shall observe to do all the statutes and the judgments which I said before you this day. Deuteronomy 12 
These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which Yahweh, Elohim of thy fathers, giveth thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their of their gods and destroy the names of them out of that place. And ye shall not do so unto Yahweh your Elohim, but unto the place which Yahweh your Elohim shall choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall ye seek, and thither thou shalt come. And thither ye shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and heave offerings of your hand, and your vows, and your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks. And there ye shall eat before Yahweh your Elohim, and ye shall rejoice in all that he put your hand unto, ye and your households, wherein Yahweh the Elohim hath blessed thee. Ye shall not do after the, after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which Yahweh your Elohim giveth you. But when you go over Jordan and dwell in the land which Yahweh your Elohim giveth you to inherit, and when he giveth you rest from all your enemies round about, so that ye dwell in safety. Then there shall be a place which Yahweh your Elohim shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall ye bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the heave offerings of your hand, and all your choice vows which you vow unto Yahweh. And you shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim, ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants, and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you, take heed to thyself that thou offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest, but in the place which Yahweh shall choose in one of the tribes, there shalt thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, and there shalt thou do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thou so lusteth after, according to the blessing of Yahweh thy Elohim, which he hath given thee, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck and as of the heart. Only ye shall not eat the blood, ye shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates of tithe, the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or of the first things of thy herds, or of thy flocks nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy freewill offerings or heave offering of thine hand. But thou must eat them before Yahweh thy Elohim in the place which Yahweh thy Elohim shall choose, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before Yahweh thy Elohim in all that thou puttest thine hands unto. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the Levite that as long as thou livest upon the earth, when Yahweh thy Elohim shall enlarge thy border as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. If the place which Yahweh thy Elohim hath chosen to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of the herd and of the flock which Yahweh hath given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them. The unclean and the clean shalt thou eat them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. That's it. that's very interesting. Blood is life. Blood is life. Hmm. That's very interesting. Blood is life. So thou shalt not eat it. Thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat it that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of Yahweh. You know, every time I, I hear, I read about not eating blood, it reminds me of all the different like cooking shows I've seen and how different parts of the world, a lot of the, a lot of countries actually, 
utilize blood in some manner and it's just it sickens me so much like oh man um you know people are always like well it's what you're what you're brought up what you're brought up with like somebody who's growing up in one of those countries and they eat that uh, you know often but the fact remains that we're told not to eat blood in the old testament and in the new testament so that's that fact you know doesn't change we should not be eating blood in any manner at all so plus it just sounds gross only thy holy things which thou hast in thy vows and that thou shalt take and go into the place which Yahweh shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood upon the altar of Yahweh thy Elohim. And the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of Yahweh thy Elohim. And thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of Yahweh the Elohim, when Yahweh the Elohim shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them and dwellest in their land, take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so I will do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto Yahweh the Elohim, for every abomination to Yahweh which he hateth have they done unto their gods, for even their sons and their daughters have they burnt in the fire to their gods, little g, aka devils, demons, fallen angels, whatever you want to say. It's they're not real gods. They're there, you know, there's evil behind it. Evil is controlling people. My personal opinion, they're 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 demons. They're or, you know devils and demons, um, and or Satan. You know, Satan is probably behind most of it, and uh, they're either knowingly or unknowingly worshiping Satan. Whatsoever th I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto nor diminish from it. Deuteronomy 13. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and giveth thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder come to pass whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them, thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For Yahweh your Elohim proveth you, and know whether ye love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after Yahweh your Elohim, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death, because he hath spoken to turn you away from Yahweh your Elohim, which brought you out to the land of Egypt, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to thrust thee out of the way which Yahweh that Elohim commanded thee to walk in. So shalt thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. If thy brother or thy son of thy mother or thy son of thy daughter or the wife of thy bosom or thy friend which is as thine own soul entice thee secretly saying let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known thou nor thy fathers namely of the gods of the people which are round about you nigh unto them or far off from thee from the one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him. But thou shalt surely kill him, thine hand shall be first upon him, to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. Thou shalt stone him with stones, that he die, because he hath sought to thrust thee away from Yahweh thy Elohim, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And all Israel shall hear and fear, and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. If thou shalt hear, say, in one of thy cities, which Yahweh thy Elohim hath given thee to dwell there, saying, Certain men and the children of Belial are gone out from among you, and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which ye have not known. Then shalt thou inquire, and make search, and ask diligently, and behold, if it be truth, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought among you. 
I shall surely smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly, and all that is therein, and the cattle thereof with the edge of the sword. And thou shalt gather all the spoil of it into the midst of the street thereof, and shalt burn with fire the city, and all the spoil thereof, every wit for Yahweh thy Elohim, and it shall be a heap forever, and it shall not be built again. And there shall cleave not of the cursed thing to thine hand, that Yahweh may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show thee mercy, and have compassion upon thee, and multiply thee, as he hath sworn unto thy fathers. When thou shalt hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy Elohim, to keep all his commandments which I command thee this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh the Elohim. Deuteronomy 14 Ye are the children of Yahweh your Elohim. Ye shall not cut yourselves or make any baldness between your eyes for the dead, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh the Elohim. And Yahweh hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. These are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart, and the roebuck, and the fallow deer, and the wild goat, and the pygarg, at the wild ox, and the chamois. Every beast that parteth the hoof, and cleaveth the cleft into two claws, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the cloven hoof, as the camel, and the hare, and the coney. For they chew the cud, but divide not the hoof, therefore they are unclean unto you. And the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales shall ye eat, and whatsoever hath not fins and scales ye may not eat, it is unclean unto you. Of all clean birds ye shall eat, but these are they of which ye shall not eat. The eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the gleed, and the kite, and the vulture after his kind, and every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the coat cow, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the coromont. And the stork, and the heron after her kind, and the lop, lop wing, and the bat, and every creature, creeping thing that flieth is unclean unto you. They shall not be eaten. But of all clean fowls you may eat, you shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it, or thou mayest sell it unto it. For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh thy Elohim, thou shalt not seethe a kid in his mother's milk. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed, that the field bringeth forth year by year. And thou shalt eat before Yahweh the Elohim in the place which he shall choose to place his name thereof. The tithe of thy corn, thy wine, thine oil, and the firstlings of thy herds and of thy flocks, and thou mayest learn to fear Yahweh the Elohim always. And if, it, if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not cap able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which Yahweh the Elohim shall choose to set his name there, when Yahweh the Elohim hath blessed thee, then shalt thou turn it into money, and bind up the money in thine hand, and shalt go unto the place which Yahweh the Elohim shall choose, and thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thou so lusteth after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever thou thy soul desireth, and thou shalt eat there before Yahweh the Elohim, and shalt rejoice thou and thine household. And the Levite that is within thy gate, thou shalt not forsake him, for he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. At the end of three years shalt thou bring forth all the tithes of thine increase the same year, and shalt lay it up within thy gates. And the Levite, because he hath no part nor inheritance with thee, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, which are within thy gates, shall come, and shall eat, and be satisfied, that Yahweh the Elohim may bless thee in all the work of thine hand, which thou doest. And Deuteronomy 15. At the end of every seven years shalt thou make a release, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth aught 
unto his neighbor shall release it, and he shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called Yahweh's release. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it again, but that which is in thine with thy brother, thine hand shall release. Save when there shall be no poor among you, for Yahweh shall greatly bless thee in the land which Yahweh, the Elohim, giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy Elohim, to observe to do all these commandments which I command thee this day. For Yahweh, thy Elohim, blesseth thee as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. Over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land, which Yahweh the Elohim giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from the, thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thine hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanteth. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year the year of release is at hand, and thine evil eye be against thy poor brother. And thou givest him not any crying to Yahweh against thee, and it be sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because that for this thing Yahweh, thy Elohim, shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land, therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. And if thy brother, an Hebrew man or an Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee, and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou sendest him out free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock, and out of thy floor, and out of thy winepress of that wherewith Yahweh, that Elohim, hath blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Egypt, and, the, and Yahweh, thy Elohim, redeemed thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today. And it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee in thine house, because he is well with thee. Then thou shalt take an awl, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant for ever, and also unto thy maidservant, and thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto thee, when thou sendest him away free from thee, for he hath been worth a double hired servant to thee, and serving thee six years, and Yahweh, thy Elohim, shall bless thee, and all that thou doest. All the firstling males that cometh of thy herd and of thy flock thou shalt sanctify unto Yahweh thy Elohim. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock, nor shear the firstling of thy sheep. Thou shalt eat it before Yahweh thy Elohim, year by year in the place which Yahweh shall choose, thou and thy household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind, or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto Yahweh thy Elohim. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof, thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. Wow. So again with the not eating blood, it's pretty important if they mention it so many times. Do not eat blood. Ugh, nasty. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I hope you have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. And keep waiting upon him, and you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with uh, more Deuteronomy. Thanks again. See you later.